What's up guys? This is Mark and I just want to do a real quick video about my iPhone 4. You know, I've, I've had it for a while. This is uh, just a real quick video of my being upset with the iPhone 4 and its capabilities. Well, for those of you who know, a lot of people jailbreak their phones so they can do other things with it and customize it. That's the way these phones should be. It should already be that way to where you can actually customize the phone. So Apple, when you come up with the iPhone 6 or whatever the hell it is, make sure we can customize it. I mean, if you slide the slider, it comes with a little click noise. And those click noises you cannot actually change unless you have a jailbroken phone. I don't want to jailbreak my phone because I don't want to have any problems with it or get in trouble by jailbreaking the phone. Um, let me tell you something. Even if you do jailbreak it and you do get an app that you really like, there's always a turnaround about purchasing the app. So what's the point of jailbreaking the phone if you have to purchase the app? You know, it, it, it's, it's pathetic that, you know, phone companies allow people to jailbreak it and then you find out that the app itself is a third party app that actually has uh, been approved by the phone companies in certain ways. So it, it's, it's really bad for Apple to invent a $500 phone that you cannot customize the way you want it. You can customize the ringtones, you can customize uh, those type of ringtones, text messages you can customize. But you cannot do uh, photos. You cannot do backgrounds where they're animated. I know in the new iPhone, you, you actually probably could. The iPhone 5, I believe, is that you can actually do that. But you still can't do other things like what I'm talking about here for jailbreaking the phone unless you actually do that. You have to jailbreak the phone, and then there you go. You got access to everything. But that defeats the purpose of spending $500 on this phone. I mean, it looks beautiful. I mean, get going and grind. It's slick. But, I mean, come on, Apple. When you invent the next one, think about my video. Think about how other people will respond to this video. And I hope you do respond to this video. I'm going to try to find the best way to title it. But over the past year, I, I have not really had any um, good things to say other than, I mean, it, it's clear it sounds good, um, but customizing it, I want to customize my phone. I'm a Star Trek fan, so if I want to customize it all Star Trek-y, I can't do it unless I am able to jailbreak my phone. And I don't want to do that, like I said. I don't want to do it. But I have to deal with it. I have to keep going with it until I can upgrade the phone. But even if I upgrade the phone, there's going to be another piss-ass way to say you can't do this or you can't do that. And you're going to find a way to make you pay for it. So that's my rant for the iPhone 4 and probably the iPhone 5. I'm sure it's going to be the same way for everybody else. Anyways, I just wanted to put that BS out there. And uh, I'm going to make another video blog probably. Uh, maybe to talk about electronics, other stuff just like that. And... Uh, I'll let you know if I come up with a username and what it's going to be. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.